Namo Yidafa, good morning. Thank you for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The fifth mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by unmindful consumption, I vow to cultivate good health, both physical and mental, for myself, my family, and my society by practicing mindful eating, drinking, and consuming. I will ingest only items that preserve peace, well-being, and joy in my body, in my consciousness, and in the collective body and consciousness of my family and society. I am determined not to use alcohol or any other items that contain toxins, such as certain TV programs, magazines, books, films, and conversations. I am aware that to damage my body or my consciousness with these poisons is to betray my ancestors, my parents, my society, and future generations. I will work to transform violence, fear, anger, and confusion in myself and in society by practicing a diet for myself and for society. I understand that a proper diet is crucial for self-transformation and the transformation of society. We've been reading Ajahn Chah's book, Bodhiyana, from the Dhamma talk, The Two Faces of Reality. I'm going to read a couple of footnotes before I begin the passage. One, worldly Dhamma are the eight worldly conditions, gain and loss, honor and dishonor, happiness and misery, praise and blame. The path, the eightfold path, comprises eight factors of spiritual practice leading to the extinction of suffering. Right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. And now from Ajahn Chah. As wisdom matures and we begin to understand in accordance with the truth, we will no longer be dragged up and down. Usually if we have a pleasant mood, we behave one way. And if we have an unpleasant mood, we are another way. We like something and we are up we dislike something and we are down. In this way, we are still in conflict with enemies. When these things no longer oppose us, they become stabilized and balance out. There are no longer ups and downs or highs and lows. We understand these things of the world and know that that's just the way it is. It's just worldly Dhamma. Worldly Dhamma changes to become the path. Worldly Dhamma has eight ways. The path has eight ways. Wherever worldly dhamma exists, the path is to be found also. When we live with clarity, all of our worldly experience becomes the practicing of the Eightfold Path. Without clarity, worldly dhamma predominates and we are turned away from the path. When right understanding arises, liberation from suffering lies right here before us. You will not find liberation by running around looking elsewhere. So, don't be in a hurry and try to push or rush your practice. Do your meditation gently and gradually, step by step. In regard to peacefulness, if you want to become peaceful, then accept it. If you don't become peaceful, then accept that also. That's the nature of the mind. We must find our own practice and persistently keep at it. Perhaps wisdom does not arise. I used to think about my practice that when there is no wisdom, I could force myself to have it, but it didn't work. Things remained the same. Then, after careful consideration, I saw that to contemplate things that we don't have cannot be done. So what's the best thing to do? It's better just to practice with equanimity. If there is nothing to cause us concern, then there's nothing to remedy. If there's no problem, 
then we don't have to try to solve it. When there is a problem, that's when you must solve it, right there. There's no need to go searching for anything special. Just live normally. But know what your mind is. Live mindfully and clearly comprehending. Let wisdom be your guide. Don't live indulging in your moods. Be heedful and alert. If there's nothing, that's fine. When something arises, then investigate and contemplate it. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. Sadhu. 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 Thank you for joining me this morning.